Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. So we have had to retire one of our stud boars. Um, he's done his job for us and it's time to replace him. So today we're going to look at a couple of litters of uh, black Himalayans and see if we can find a suitable replacement or two uh, to safeguard the future of the stud. In the background is uh, my granddad's uh, very first stud Himalayan boar, Marcus Lagoya. Um, he had a record uh, win at Much Haddam in 1967. As you can see, we've made uh, lots of progress since then, and the Himalayan shape and form looks much different these days. So um, hopefully you can look through this video and uh, see the selection process. So when you're looking to retain boars from a litter, um, especially when you're looking for a new stud boar, uh, you need to consider uh, a lot of factors because the properties from this boar, if used as a stud boar, uh, will affect all the size that it's mated with. So you need to make sure that these properties are things that you actually want to see within your stud uh, or they're things that are correcting specific faults uh, when paired with your saves. So for me, size is um, an important factor. We want to keep the size as big as possible in the Himalayans. Uh, we also need good ears. Good ears are a fundamental thing. When you look at a guinea pig, you see these ears, these bold eyes and the well-shaped smut. These are the things you see instantly when you look at the pig. So these are the things that we really want to look for to pass on to the youngsters. A um, nice clear body colour would be desirable, but not at the uh, cost of density on the points. And also, we don't want to breed with any pig with major faults. So we're looking for pigs without any hems, without any side skirting, or in any of the pink toenails, which are disqualifications um, in the Himalayan breed. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is uh, one of two boars uh, that I've grown on from Sally. Uh, which you've seen in previous videos. Uh, he's a very uh, smart looking boar, very well defined pear shaped smut, which is what we're looking for. The eyes is possibly a touch small and the ears are slightly wayward at the moment, but it looks very smart pig. Like I say, the first impressions when you look at these animals uh, usually give you the, the right indication as to whether they're good or not. And I get a very good feeling when I look at this guinea pig. Uh, it stands well, he's been trained well. Um, and yeah, that demarcation on the smut and that pure white body colour are really striking. I mean, the contrast is something I look for in a show pig as well as a, a, a breeding boar. Um, so we'll see how this goes um, and we'll review it at the end. This is the second boar from the litter. Um, a slightly smaller pig. Um, again, a mean looking eye, a smaller eye. Slightly higher placed ears. They're down and level, but they're slightly higher placed. The smut isn't as broad uh, as, as his brother, unfortunately, but it is very dense. Um, the body colour is again quite good and the shoulder looks fairly reasonable as well. The points are dark and, and, and that's nice. It creates a nice contrast on the pig, but in comparison to his brother, I'm not quite sure uh, how they'll compare. We'll put them side by side at the end and we can get a, a good look at them. But um, on the whole, I'd be pleased with this pig if I hadn't already seen his brother. Um, but yeah, there are some very good attributes which uh, we should consider. This boar has a very different type of head, it's a very tall head, um, and this shows off the smut quite well. This is one of Justin's boars. Um, Justin was the darker stud boar that we were trying out uh, during the last pairings uh, video. Um, as you can see, his smut is well between the eyes. Um, the ear is, one of the ears is slightly folded, and like I said, this head is very tall and very long, so this makes me think it's going to be a rather large pig. Um, as if you remember, a good size is something that we actually look for. The eye looks reasonably bold. I, it could be bolder. Um, I'm, I, I am quite critical when it comes to these things. Um, but the head is very balanced. The body colour is slightly darker, but not too dark. And here we have the second of Justin's boars. Um, and yeah, it's a nice pig. It's balanced. It's got a bold eye. It's a much better body colour than his brother. Although... Uh, I'd say he's a slightly smaller pig with a smaller head. Um, the ears are placed higher up on the head than I would really like. Um, it looks balanced, but it, it's not actually quite right when you see it alongside another KV. And the smut is not is is defined. So we were looking for a much denser, more defined smut to give a better contrast. As you see, it sort of fades at the top and on the edges. So um, we'll consider this when choosing as well. Here are the two Justin boards together. As you can see, one is... Uh, much denser than the other and, and has a much larger head. Um, 
So, yeah, the one on the right is probably the more preferable of the two. And then with Salah's bores, again, you can see the one on the left uh, is a much wider head and a denser smut. Um, and, yeah, so it's, it's quite a clear cut uh, which pig of these two we're going to keep. The one on the left is by far the better pig. Uh, that being said, the one on the right has some useful attributes, but not quite there. So after assessment, I think we'll be keeping uh, Justin's boar one, mainly for his uh, good size, bold eye, density and level head. Uh, the body colour is slightly darker than we like, but I think this will work well with the size that we have. The other boar we're going to run on is Sally's boar number one. Um, it's a very balanced pig. Just wait for those ears to come down, but I think it's going to be very useful, especially for that uh, contrast, so that white body colour will be great. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun to make, and hopefully you've learnt something about choosing stud boars uh, within your own stud of guinea pigs. And until next time, I'm Guinea Pig Greg. See you again.